hello students in the semiconductor electronics uh, the next type of the diodes we are going to discuss its properties and function is called as zener diode zener is a name of scientist we previously we have discussed the ordinary diode in reverse bias if you connect uh, if you cross in the particular voltage if you cross the particular voltage in reverse bias forward bias what happens if you increase the voltage in forward bias uh, after crossing the voltage of barrier potential of 0.3 volts or 0.7 volts uh, the current increases but in reverse bias uh, the current diode will not conduct current uh, but the minority current will be there minor charge carriers can in the reverse direction uh, very few number will be there so current will be in micro amperes but if reverse bias voltage is further increased after reaching to the particular value the minority carriers number increases uh, collide with the bonds uh, uh, covalent bonds and break the bonds increasing temperature that breakdown is called as a avalanche breakdown this is ordinary diode p and diode we find in reverse bias p n diodes in reverse bias all are p n only but generally p n junction diode we call no this also every p n diode has a junction in between but just ordinary diode telling just previously what we discussed p diode in reverse bias that breakdown is called as a avalanche breakdown where few minority carriers number keeps on increasing and reaches to the maximum current and current suddenly increases to large value thereafter the current is not in control of the voltage the voltage across the diode remains constant that voltage is called as a breakdown voltage same principle is used for the making of the zener diode but zener diode we have the breakdown is called as a zener breakdown zener diode is called as a zener breakdown in the case of the zener diode the graph is similar graph is similar for the forward uh, bias reverse bias for the ordinary diode and p n diode and also for the zener diode but difference is that uh, in forward bias uh, the zener diode cannot withstand to large currents uh, very quickly damages compared to that of the ordinary diode so and this is preferred zener diode is preferred in the reverse bias only keep the voltage constant called as a regulated voltage zener diode it is a highly doped semiconductor compared to the ordinary diode little highly doped little high it is not too high the doping concentration is little high compared to that of the uh, more concentration is added compared to that of the ordinary diodes that is only the main difference and diode and current in reverse bias it should be connected in reverse bias to regulate, regulate the voltage to make voltage constant that means v equal to constant regulate the voltage means voltage should be kept constant the diode symbol is similar to the previous case the arrow mark indicate direction of conventional current from p to n positive to negative but negative side what line we are taking is previously only vertical line taken now it is a z is written here we can use the, this z also sometimes some, some very rarely used symbols like this can be used or reverse directions you can keep like this also or like this also but never take a diode symbol like this you should not take you should not take like this that is called the tunnel diode it is not in your syllabus leave it so it should be z like this or slightly curved inclined line they will give you generally that is the symbol or circuit symbol of zener diodes and zener voltage is nothing but equal to breakdown voltage highly doped semiconductor that uh, what happens in the zener breakdown is the reverse bias because the doping is high doping concentration is high impurity atoms are having the charge providing more easily so a little electric field applied can provide the more current current increases to the high values after reaching the a particular value of the reverse bias the voltage remains a constant across this but you are not increasing the current by breaking the bonds with the increase of temperature temperature increase will not be there therefore diode will not damage if the temperature increases the bonds break will not come back to the previous state therefore the damage the semiconductor will damage in this case we are not taking the increase of temperature to break down the diode breakdown means increase the current to large value suddenly keeping the output voltage constant across the diode so if the only electric field small electric field can provide the constant voltage and reverse current can be increased to high values there also voltage remains constant across the diodes and that voltage is called as a zener voltage taken for example 10 volts you want to keep the constant the zener voltage is given as vz equal to 10 volts if it is you want to keep the output voltage 100 volts constant then zener voltage must be equal to vz it's mentioned v subscript z vz is supposed to be 100 volts generally some voltage drop will be there across the diode so what they mention is 100 Point 0.3, point 0.1, point 0.2 or 1 at 1 volts. So this extra voltage what you are giving, 100 voltage means extra voltage practically is nothing but a voltage drop across the diode. But uh, in theoretical problems, we don't discuss that. So Vz is equal to, if you want 10 volt voltage regulation, Vz is equal to 10 volts, like that we have to take. Next, how this uh, circuit in the actual, actual uh, block diagram. This is a circuit symbol. 
this is not the circuit symbol this is the block, uh, diode what you see in the market it's just like the pn diode all previous cases but generally this is uh, looking like a reddish color and a transparent sometimes given most of the cases and uh, one break word uh, diagram will be given like this and uh, dot, this circle dot sir, dark circle black circle whatever is present is supposed to be n type material towards uh, next is next is voltage regulator circuits it is maintained to main, it maintains constant output voltage this is to maintain constant output voltage reverse breakdown voltage is equal, supposed to be equal to reverse breakdown voltage itself is equal to output dc voltage and that is called, also called as a zener voltage vo and vz vbr all are equivalent vbr breakdown voltage itself is output voltage it's also equal to zener break zener voltage meaning is same only zener reverse breakdown voltage also meaning is same circuit diagram diode must be connected zener diode must be connected in reverse bias here this is a zener diode if you don't put this, that is going to be ordinary diode. Ordinary diode will not connect current in the reverse bias. And ordinary diode damages when the voltage reaches to the breakdown voltage and across it. Here, one series resistance compulsor required to save this diode from the large currents. It will damage if the currents are large currents. And uh, that maximum current uh, diode can be strand is called as a IZ, called as a Zener current. And power of this diode that can be strand is VZ into IZ is called as the power of the diode. Next. Uh, the total current coming from the input unregulated voltage not constant current voltage changing fluctuating voltages we can say if the electron devices if you connect to the fluctuating voltages or motors connected to the fluctuating voltage the speed increase decreases and uh, tvs uh, electron circuit can damage computers can damage so we have to require the constant voltage here you want to keep the voltage uh, constant that zener voltage that value what you want to keep constant you have to choose and this, uh, so far, sorry, I forgot to tell you, Zeno diode is not in your syllabus actually, not for K-setter. And uh, previously they used to ask more for the NEAT and JE. NEAT more, mostly asked for NEAT actually, compared to JE also. But uh, this year they may not ask. Still, you better know it. By mistake, if they ask, you must be able to answer. But not for K-setter, definitely. Next, unregulated voltage, for example, the voltage is fluctuating between 100 volts. 100 volts to... 200 volts and you want to keep uh, the voltage fixed equal to so we'll take this uh, 30 volts 30 volts to 200 voltage voltage fluctuating i want to keep the voltage equal to 50 volts then you have to choose the diode which is uh, zener voltage breakdown voltage equal to 50 volts connect in reverse this is a plus uh, it is a dc place not a ac you are giving the dc connected dc unregulated input this is a plus plus side plus only output will get minus side minus one you have to take plus in series resistance you have to connect one and across after that we connect the across the input one diode you connect in reverse plus side we have to connect the n side and minus side we have to connect p side. the voltage vz is we are taking reverse bias connected whenever the input voltage exceeds vz voltage output voltage remains a constant so when you are choosing this voltage input voltage you must choose the voltage which is for regulating low voltages less than vz is of no use for us we will take it more than this 50 volts if i want to take a now i want to take this here the voltage regulation let us take a 100 volts to 200 volts but i want to keep the output voltage 50 volts then less than 50 volts if you are choosing input that diode will not have any regulated voltages vz we should cross the input voltage input voltage that is the battery voltage should cross VBR, VBR. this itself is VZ, Zener voltage that is also output voltage should cross this then only output remains a constant so below this 100 voltage output is not regulated place 50 means about more than 50 only we have to take the input voltage then input voltage, this voltage across this series resistance is total current I is equals to uh, voltage equal to I into RS. This total current I divided into two parts. One is IZ, another one is IL, load resistance. Any device connected comes across this, that RL and out the resistance, output resistance should be equivalent, we have to take. And not connected also, you take this RL, 10 ohms like that, or 10K ohms like that, or whatever electron device using that itself as a resistance is taken as a load resistance, that consumes the electric current. So in place of R, we can connect the TV or uh, computers, etc. Now this current I divide two parts, IL and IZ. Total current I equal to IZ plus IL. And voltage across the series resistance is equal to I into RS. They don't give RS, they simply give as R. You have to I into R also, we can take the relation. Next, VZ. Voltage across this should remain constant if the input voltage exceeds the VZ. So output voltage VO is also equal to VZ, only you will get. And load resistance voltage also IL into RL. This is also output voltage. These are coming in parallel. Parallel voltage is same. So output voltage is also equal to IL into, IL into RL is also supposed to be equal to VZ. So whatever the voltage changing here, the output remains constant equal to 50 volts in this example. 
result value output voltage value same based on that we can load resistance given means you can find out il and they may ask i also what is the voltage across external resistance also ask uh, the series resistance also they may ask here for example 100 volts is there here 50 volts output what, what about the remaining voltage remaining voltage is appearing across this series resistance first case if it is 200 volts in between you will find it so if voltage across the series resistance changes between 50 volts to 200 volts is there 200 minus 50 output is 50 remaining voltage is 150 so voltage across the series resistance changes between the 50 volts to 150 volts as the input voltage fluctuates between 100 minus 200 using this relationship you can find out uh, what is the voltage across series resistance or il or rl conditions next output regulated voltage v equal to v equal to il into rl voltage across the series resistance is nothing but equal to i into rs is v input minus output voltage okay this part is finished hello students in this next part of the digital electronics uh, next part of the semiconductors we are discussing the digital electronics digital digit means only single digit so one two like that we take that as a digit sir but in this uh, digital electronics we are going to discuss the high voltage low voltage only <coughs> and the voltages changes in the, with the time mentioned as a constant voltage and suddenly decreases to zero and then increases to maximum and decreases to zero it is just like the pulses we call but just for clarity purpose we take them as a square waves like this we use vertical lines actually do not exist for our comfort only we take it like that high voltage is there no voltage high voltage no voltage in the digital electronics the voltage what we use is 5 volts 5 volts generally used for the even computers also but not uh, calculators calculators also work on the similar principles in the digital electronics digits we use the two voltages either low voltage i mean zero voltage or high voltage this is called the positive logic in the we are discussing only positive logic now positive logic means plus 5 volts if negative logic means minus side we take whatever taking the plus side now we take the negative side that's called negative logic we are discussing only positive logic side so if the plus 5 volts high voltage zero voltage high voltage we take it as a one zero voltage is nothing but equal to zero again high voltage zero voltage like that the voltage changes either high or low and in this case if you take low plus low is low only but high plus high one plus one means why only for our comfort we are taking why one means high if you are taking the 1 plus 1 means do not take a 1 plus 1 as 2 in these cases, 1 means 5 volts, 5 voltage plus 5 voltage also not no, high voltage plus high voltage is high voltage only. So, we take the output equal to 5 volts only you have to get. In this case, we use the term called as a logic gates, logic related to yes or no, true or false, high or low, 1 or 0, whether the output of the circuit is high voltage or low voltage, that is related to the only two choices are they not like a continuous uh, variation like in sine function, we take this as a square wave functions are called as a pulses. And the time duration is important in these uh, output diagrams. The time interval, this is going to be half pulse from here to here. This is a rising pulse and falling pulse, rising, falling. The time interval we are taking it as a constant in this case, maybe may not, may not be constant, not compulsorily. This is one cycle time period. This is nothing but equal to one time period, we call it as a one cycle time period from here to here. But when you are taking the comparison, no, for each pulse time period only, we take the comparisons. The gates, there are the gate means what something which you, if you want to go into the house you have to cross the gate the gate is closed or open whether you can go or not that going means what output voltage is high otherwise there is no output voltage when output voltage is high in the circuit diagrams uh, if bulb, bulb is connected bulb glows when bulb glows output is high one if bulb is not glowing means output is zero of the electronic circuits these gates are the diagrams we take a uh, block diagram like this but actually we, they are made with the diodes or transistors or even mechanical device also there in the case of this uh, uh, gates, uh, there are the basically three types of the gates. Not gate, not uh, NOT, not gate, OR gate and AND gate. These three types of gates are there. Apart from that combination of these uh, not with OR AND, they will give gates called as a NOR, NOR means NOR or NAND gates. These two gates are called as a universal gates. Electronic chips are available. That kind of, that is actually silicon and the silicon chip, multiple devices, electronics, uh, that uh, transistors, the diodes can be etched with the help of the laser, very small size will be there. It is called as a chip. Chip means a thin layer, thin wafer is called as a chip. On this uh, silicon chip, uh, the etch means cut the silicon crystal, uh, parts uh, and they construct a microscopic level of the gates with the help of the transistors and diodes. And uh, there is in the market gates available or are the NAND gate and NAND gates widely used these are NAND gates 
with the help of the NAND gates, why they are called universal gates is because they can be used to construct a NOT gate, AND gate and R gate also. First gate is NOT gate. NOT gate means a reverse of what you are getting input. If they give the input is high means output is low. The symbol is like a diode. It is not a diode. Please bubble. This is called as a bubble. You are putting in circle. You are putting in the output side. The arrow mark indicate direction of conventional current. Like similar to the diode but not diode. Diode vertical line you have taken here. You are taking the bubble. Circle. A hollow circle. And output is y equal to a bar. A bar is called as a complement. Complement means opposite. The output uh, is a complement of input. Truth table. Truth table indicates what is the output with respect to the input voltages. Comparisons. Input voltage is high. Input is a signal. We call it as I. And output signal is Y. Y equal to A bar. Means complement. Reverse of it. If input is zero, you are not giving any input input voltage. Output will be high. When input is, is high, output is zero. If you take the input signals like this, high, low, high, 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 low, high, with the time duration. In this time duration, you have to take it up. Same time duration, you have to divide. Same time duration, you have to compare. And here, I means output is low, reverse. Low means high. Means high voltage means low voltage and vice versa. And high, high means low, low. Next is low means high. High means low, like that will be there. And this is a mechanical gates. You will be getting in mathematics also, maybe. Mechanical gates, for example, connect the bulb output and uh, one series resistance to the battery voltage plus minus V. And here is a switch closed. Switch closed is related to high. Uh, uh, switch closed means on or off conditions. We are taking the switch. When switch is open, bulb closed. When switch is closed, current passes like this only. Do not pass through the resistance because their resistance is zero. Current bulb go like this through this. When switch is closed, means one. Output is low. Reverse happens. This is a mechanical switch, rarely asked to conditions and in the circuit, in the notes I gave you diode circuits for the NOT gate and other gates and also transistor version also given. Transistor version, please don't go through that. This tier transistor is deleted, so you can leave it. Next is R gate. R gate symbol is this. Y is equals to output Y is equals to A plus D. Not gate is a single input to single output. Other gates are a single output but input are two two inputs are there. Two inputs A and B we take and output is Y is equals to A plus B. It is called as R because output is high whether A is high or B is high. So input we are taking the A and B output is Y equal to A plus B. 0 plus 0 is 0 and 1 and 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1 means high plus low. High plus high is nothing but equal to high only. 1 plus 1 is don't write two places here. 1 only you have to take. Next is mechani mechanical equivalent. Two switches if you take in series, uh, in parallel, this is a bulb. Whether A is closed, current passes through this. Or B is closed, current passes through this. If both are closed, also current passes. So, but means either A is closed or B is closed, the current is passing the bulb glows. That means either A is high or B is high. Output is high. If both are zero, current will not pass, then output is low. So, 0, 0, 0, only both A and B, both are high, I is A, anyone is 0, output is 0 only. Sorry, one minute. A, anyone is high, we are taking this R gate, right. Okay. Anyone is high, output is high and uh, when both are high is also, output is high only. Circuit diagram, this uh, pulses input, they will give problems. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Here 1, 0 means 0 and 1 in comparison you have to take 0 and 1. Anyone is high, output is high. So 1, 1, high, high. 0 and 1, 1 is high, high. So 1, 0 is 1. But 0, 0 is 0. Here 1, 1 is 1, high. Next is gate, next gate is AND gate. In the AND gate, this is a diagram, block diagram for the AND gate. And these are the inputs A and B. Y is equals to multiplication will take A into B. A, B. Y is equals to A, B. And input 0, 0. Multiplication means 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. 1 into 0 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. Output is high only if A and B and A and B are high. Both should be high, then only output is high. Otherwise, every time output is 0. And it is like two switches connect in series. If one is closed, it does not make any current to pass through because second one also needs to be closed. If both are closed, then only current passes. This is a mechanical equivalent of AND gates. Next, universal gates. Universal gates are NOR gate and AND gate. They can be used to convert to any other gates. So, NOR gate, if you take a R and a NOT, R and NOT is together is called as a NOR gate. Symbol is taken as R gate with a bubble. Y is equals to here, uh, this is a R gate, this is a NOT gate. 
or get is a plus b and not you are adding this a plus b bar it becomes so y is equals to a plus b first you add for this and then not you take a plus b whole bar and there is a theorem called as a de morgan's theorem according to theorem you put a a plus b whole bar can be written as a bar plus b bar next is uh, that is called as a de morgan's theorem the, uh, there is algebra special given for this digital electronics it is called as a boolean algebra It is a part of Boolean algebra named after the mathematician called as a Boolean. Part of that is one theorem is De Morgan's theorem is states that if, I, if a bar b, a bar a plus b whole bar can be written as a bar plus b bar. Next is NAND gates and plus not is nothing but equal to NAND gates and means if a b a taken means a into b and not means what bar you have to take a b bar is output just uh, whatever the and gate you have to get you know you can take it as bar of this 0 0 0 1 will means it becomes equal to output uh, 1 1 1 0 and for the or gate reverse of this nor gate up reverse of or gate 0 means 1 1 means 0 0 0 you will get the output of this uh, nor gate i am not giving the truth table for this please go through the notes you can easily get through that xr gate this is not in your syllabus place but they, but they may ask this diagram what is the output equivalent xr name is not there but indirectly they will ask this diagram not this diagram xr gate means exclusive or gate it's called as circuit symbol is similar to or gate but uh, double lines are taken at the input the output symbol is y equal to a complement this uh, exclusive b means a bar b plus a b bar how do you construct this diagram here is you have to take this a bar b multiplication is there but a bar means a is inverted first a inverted means you take the not gate here a a bar it becomes and b is here b is also connected to the same diode and same gate so this is a multiplication a into b so a first make it as a bar multiplied with b bar becomes equal to a bar b a bar b next plus or gate we have to take that to later first is like separately you take this part and this part a b bar so a is connected to the here here there is no connection please jump is there connected to this other uh, nand gate uh, and gate so from here you taking through the other and gate that is a comes as it is and b becomes equal to b bar here b bar and this multiplies a into b bar a into b bar and this a bar b a into b bar is added here with the help of the or gate so what you get here is a bar b plus a b bar this is called as a exclusive or gate output next just a few points related to this uh, boolean algebra according to the de morgan's theorem only i mentioned but a few more points you need to discuss then we go for the numericals if the, the table i gave you you just go through that you put it the complement of the complement is a only that means if a value is given as one and complement means it becomes equal to zero again complement means it becomes equal to one zero complement becomes equal to one 1 complement 0, complement to complement is same value you will get. And uh, I already mentioned De Morgan's theorem is A bar B, A plus B whole bar is equals to A bar plus A bar into B bar. A plus B whole bar, sorry. This A plus B whole bar is A bar into B bar, sorry. And A plus A B whole bar is equals to A bar plus B bar. This is a De Morgan's theorem. A plus B whole bar equal to A bar into B bar. Multiplication also becomes and a b whole bar is equals to a bar plus b bar this is a de morgan's theorem another uh, relations please go through the table i gave you a into a bar a plus a bar a into a bar is zero a plus a bar is equals to one but a plus a bar is a you, you can check up these equations just by giving putting some values give un, random values 0 and 1 only two values there so if you take 0 and 0 what happens you check up 0 and 1 0 and 0 you put 0 you put first and then 1 you put first and check up what is the output like that you can verify the diagrams next point to the students uh, next we have to discuss is the numericals from this uh, semiconductors and electronics uh, digital uh, 
electronics diagrams gates easily you can work out and in that gates you must work out go through one not for case at but other neat and je you need to go through the conversion from nor gate to or gate and nand gate etc for example you have this uh, nand gate or not gate nor gate you want to convert into not gate not nor to not i want nor to not means i am taking this uh, only single input is for not but uh, what we have is a nor gate this is nor but i want to convert into not two single input you have to take that means a only we are taking here a first a plus a a plus a is a only a into a is also a only that is r multiplication after that what happens is a and not gate means becomes equal to a bar similarly for nand also we can take like that we have to take the conversions from uh, universal gates to other gates not gate or gate and and gate vice versa Uh, not to no, nor to nand nand to nor also diagrams i gave you just go through that really required for the neat it's required for the neat and uh, je means next one is problems 1968 diode reverse bias voltages are given as voltage change in the reverse bias from 5 volts to 15 volts then current changes from 38 micro amperes to 88 micro amperes they may give the forward or reverse biases cases also problem procedure is similar how do you take this va graph putting the forward bias the graph is non linear non ohmic but uh, we can find out the resistance in that region only by taking the slope of this graph anywhere you take the points and take that slope of this or between the two points you have taken means between two points uh, slope you have to find out is equal to tan theta and take the two perpendicular to the voltage axis that the difference between these two voltages so this is the voltage is delta v and current difference is values this value minus this value is called delta i and resistance in this case we can find out r equal to ohms law like only delta v equal to ir form but the change in values are taken means the dynamic values constant values means fixed values that is the static values change in values means dynamic values related to the ac values alternating current delta v by delta i r is equals to e is equals to r delta v is final minus inverse change in values are taken 15 minus 5 is 10 and 88 minus 38 is equals to 50 The result is micro convert into 10 to the power of minus 6. Take it to the numerator 10 to the power of plus 6. 1 by 5 into 10 to the power of 6. Or 1 by 5 is 0.10 to the power of 6 is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 ohms is the resistance during that current changes. Next problem is diode biasing and current they ask the voltage at two ends of the diodes are given and one there is one series resistance. In this diode problem you need to be careful whether it is ideal diode or non-ideal diode that you have to be careful. But in this diagram, voltage at A, this is a P-type. P-type should be connected to the higher voltage. N-side should be connected to the lower voltage. Maybe positive or negative, it doesn't matter. So here, minus 4 volts given to the P, minus 1 voltage go to the N. Minus 1, 0. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, like this, we have this minus 3. So here, these are the increasing voltages. These are our decreasing voltages, lower values. So minus 4 is VA is less than VB. Minus 4 is less than minus 1. That means the reverse, it is a diode is in reverse bias. To have the forward bias, for forward bias, VA, that means P side should be greater than VB. Then it is forward bias, current passes. Otherwise, current will not pass. So in this diagram, first you have to check up the forward or reverse bias. It is reverse bias. Reverse bias means current is zero. For forward bias, VA should be greater than VB. if sometimes they will give you the grounding connected to the ground means that is zero place zero potential ground has the zero potentials next 174 for problem this important one this also multiple times asked this point the problem is repeated there with a different method values different method forward bias we'll check up this voltage of the battery is 24 volts given to this circuit diagram contain the capacitors two capacitors c1 is 4 farads c2 is 8 farads and two diodes are connected in between d1 and d2 first first check up diode is forward bias reverse bias with respect to battery you have to check up not in between capacitors so this is n type n connected to the plus means this is reverse bias that means d1 is reverse biased wrote it here d1 is reverse biased and d2 p2 plus so it is a forward biased reverse bias diode in the circuit diagrams just remove it and forward diagram diode diode you have to short circuit it directly connected that means this is equivalent to a circuit diagram of this c1 and c2 coming in series c1 and c2 coming in series this is not the diode anymore short circuit you have to take for the forward bias so this is a equivalent circuit diagram c1 and c2 coming in series total voltage is v divided among the capacitor already we have taken this capacitor series that resultant volt capacitor you can find out all 
directly you can better find out total voltage V equal to V1 plus V2 across the capacitors and you are asked to find out the V1 and V2 values. What is V1 equal to V1 is equal to total voltage V into C2 by C1 plus C2 in series combination this is for series capacitors. V1 equal to V into C2 by C1 plus C2 for resistors not like that V1 is equal to V into R1 by R1 plus R2 that is for series resistance this is for series capacitors V into C2 by C1 plus C2. Substitute the values, you will get the 16 volts and uh, we can substitute this here, V equal to 24 volts equal to V1 plus V2, V2 you can find it from this relation or V2 equal to V into C1 reverse by C1 plus C2 equal to 8 volts you will get. 8 plus 16 supposed to be equal to 24 volts. Next question, next problem is 176. The barrier potential across this diode, they may give, they may not give, careful with that. They may say silicon if they say. Silicon means barrier potential directly equal to 0.7 you have to take. If they don't give, you have to be careful with that wording of the question important because last time they asked silicon diodes and ideal diode also, ideal diode VB is equal to 0, barrier potential is 0, but uh, German diode is 0.3 volts for uh, barrier potential and for silicon it is 0.7 volts. If they are not given VB equal to 0 in this problem, in this problem VB equal to 0, so VA is greater than VB or not, it is 4 volts, it is a 1 volt. In case if you are given the diode like this, this is minus 1 volt this is minus uh, 5 volts this minus 1 is higher than minus 5 therefore minus 1 is uh, higher than minus 1 this is a forward bias diode forward bias if what is the voltage difference voltage difference is nothing but equal to VA minus VB voltage across diode is VA minus VB what is VA minus VB equal to is minus 1 minus of minus 5 we equal to this is a plus 5 minus 1 is 4 volts you will get result 4 volts. If barrier potential also given silicon germanium like that if given VB is 0.7 volts uh, for silicon diode if they mentioned 0.7 volts. Uh, this voltage also you have to substitute, subtract. Uh, that means total voltage becomes equal voltage difference. This is a 4 volts. Let it be. So what you take is nothing but the potential difference delta V. This is a delta V. Is also equal to 4 minus 0.7 which is equal to 3.3 .3 volts you have to take. What about the current? They will give the resistance here or if the diode resistance also given that also uh, connected to uh, comes in series with the external resistance generally they don't give the diode resistance but you have to be careful with that if they give that comes in series so whatever the current i is nothing but equal to voltage difference i is nothing but equal to delta v by r delta v is total voltage subtraction if even 0.7 also you have to take consideration if they give the silicon germanium or vb value is given in this problem 176 vb not mentioned and they didn't mention silicon germanium also therefore VB equal to 0 we take it. Then the result is VA minus VB is only we have to take 4 minus 1 it is forward bias. P higher potential N lower potential so forward bias. Next I is equals to difference the voltages VA minus VB or delta V by R. Delta V is nothing but equal to 4 minus 1 by 3 which is equals to 1 amperes. And current I is equals to we can also take this if R I equal to VA minus VB minus VB if it for ideal diode VB equal to 0. If VB is given use that relationship also. Next 178 question. In this uh, full wave rectifier. Full wave rectifier efficiency is 2 times that of the half wave rectifier. And a percentage they asked. Forward resistance of diode is given. Load resistance is given. And efficiency percentage they asked. For the full wave rectifier efficiency is 0 0.812 into RL by RL plus RF. Percentage means you can also write directly as 81.2 into 100 means 81.2 into 1300 by substitution RL plus RS RF plus 9 equal to 80.6 percentage you will get if uh, this value RL RF is very very less compared to RL in some problems you can simply neglect this point and approximate value of this you can calculate it and uh, added means what happens is if you take the remove this for example to save the time if you remove this no this 39 means 81 point you will get plus 9 means small variation means slightly less than that of 81 point by check up the, with the options Okay, we'll stop here now. Any problems, you please ask me on the net. Thank you.